did from 96 to 2003. That's a third strike. How much time did you have? 25 to life. And they don't give you no good time, good behavior. I don't know. You do 85% of whatever they gave you. Yep. like my life on the line. Juggling these streets, take the streets are on the line. Hustle to increase, put it all on the line. How this spouse fat with freedom, walking yards on the line. Every day I wait for like my life on the line. Juggling these streets, take the streets are on the line. I'm JJ from, from On The Line. Podcast show is JJ Fumby and Junior. And today we sit down there with uh DJ Position for Bone Thugs and Harmony. Thank you for stopping by, big dog. What's up? So what's that? Man? Oh man, I don't know. Perpetrating as a square. Yeah, that's <laughs> so stay out the way. Man, so man, you know, I found our, our relationship we have have accumulated in the, in the last several months. Yeah. Uh I'm a fan of your work, bro. And uh I thought it was a good opportunity for you to come on and Sit down and chop it up with us. Appreciate it. I'm a fan of what y'all been doing. So yeah, you, you've been you supporting know. us, and I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Ever, ever since y'all started, I'm like, I see this, I, and I see the the chemistry and all that. So yeah, that's cool. That's good. Doing, that's good. I'm a fan of the show. Yeah, you know, no matter, no matter you've been traveling and you know going here and there, and I know you've been doing your thing, man. And I appreciate it. Man, what kind of what you got coming out? You got any material coming out or something like that? Yeah, uh, change of faces mm. uh, coming out. Top of the year, maybe before that, depending on how I wake up, just put it on out. I already got a single called uh, Get Paid, featuring the homies Arion, and I just got more, more and more coming. Got you, for sure. Uh, I'm going to dip off into this right here. You ever yeah. been locked up? Yeah, not long. Oh, not but long. You, you had had them, 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 them things on your on yeah, your right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Not, not long, though, but yeah. Oh, okay. All right, man. Uh, what you feel about all this stuff that's going on in the industry, man, uh, as far as the entertainment world and the real world? Uh, I mean, give me, give me a, an example, and I, I go all the way in on it. I'm just talking about it seems like everybody got something to say. No matter yeah. you know, what your status is, and this, you think your status is, and, and, and people do have some kind of status. That's what I mean, like all the stuff that's been on the internet. I mean, with shit. the presidential election, uh, about uh, beefs and all these stuff. I, I mean, you know what? As far as rappers with this presidential election shit, my honest opinion, niggas is rich. So they was like, you know, for some of those people that voted for Trump, they like, fuck that. Nigga, I ain't, I ain't trying to get my taxes cut off. They don't give a fuck about <laughs> nothing else. That's just my opinion. Um, you know, but then we see, you know, some of the goofy shit that Trump does do, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, I don't trust none of them, period. I don't, I don't, politics shit, I don't fuck with, feel me? I got you, because they yeah. say two things you don't never discuss with people, and that's politics and religion. Yeah, I mean, I discuss anything, but I don't trust none of them. I got you, but I got you. I feel like any, I feel like any president that we have gives us something that we can live with. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Not to live for, but to live with. Mm. So, you know, they just they do enough just so keep this reality show going. All right, man. Fuck them square ass motherfuckers. Check this out. <laughs> I saw your ass out there with your people, man, out there doing them with the protest. Uh, yeah, how you yeah, feel about yeah, yeah. that? I mean, niggas tired of getting killed. So I felt like, you know, you know, some of our parents went to the, you know, Pro, they protested back in the day, mm -hmm. and you know it was way different then. You know we can protest in peace. Back then they getting dogs chewed on them, oh, they yeah, getting fire hoses yeah, and all that. Ugly. So you know me and Junior was like, man, we'd be a fool at least not to experience this moment. You know what I'm saying? It gotcha. was like, you know, it all happened with the George Floyd shit, but it was bigger than George Floyd. It was mm. we tired of seeing us get fucked up, get knocked down. Yeah, yeah. that's a. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just something every time they're gonna do is, is, is one of us, one of us is getting, getting you know, fucked yeah. off. Yeah, and it don't matter if a nigga a criminal or, or ain't never been to jail in his life. You know what I'm saying? Police is trained to, you know, outdo a nigga or you know what I'm saying? You know, oh, yeah. here we go. So you know, that's the me personally. That's the reason why I was like, yeah, I fuck with. It. I gotta go. Okay, you know what okay. I'm saying? I wasn't okay. finna be out there holding big ass signs or shit like that. But I definitely wanted to go out there to show, you know, make sure our presence is felt 
mm-hmm. and shit like that. We got beliefs. It just, it is what it is. I got you. I dig where you coming from. Uh, all right. So uh, on that note, we're going to take a time out. That part. All right. All right. We back on the line right here. I got with me, you know, uh, a gentleman out of Watts, California. And uh, tell us a little bit about your career. Us, meaning the view. I, I know what's going on, but you have been in this music industry for quite some time. Yeah, I'm like you over here being on your extra professional shit. Yeah. Like you done like, well, so tell yeah. us about now. Nah, uh-huh. Uh, what you want to know about it? Well, see, I'm going to ask the questions. See, I'm not, first of all, I'm not no rapper, and yeah. I'm not in that world, so I don't have no But beats. you know what's crazy? You started a nigga rapping. Oh, they don't need to know all that. You know? oh. yeah, yeah, <laughs> they, they yeah. They don't need to know all that. They don't need to know all that. But what they do need to know is how that microphone that you're on took you a lot of places that you never thought you would be able to go. Yeah. How was that experience? Uh, you know what? Real life shit, I be, I be grateful. And I say it's pretty much the love I got for music because it's this, it's me making beats. And then when I got pretty much uh, tricked into DJing for Crazy and Wishbone. Shout out to Crazy and Wishbone. Shout out to Bone Crazy. Thug. Shout out to Bone. And... Um, I thought I was going out there to perform, uh-huh. to open up for him. This is your first? First time in Australia. And they was like, hey, you know how to use this? And I'm like, nah, because they showed me shit called an instant replay. I didn't know what the fuck it was at first. And West like, well, you know how to make beats, right? Yeah, but this ain't no beat machine. And, um, you know, make a long story short to bring it back. The love that I got for it, it makes me crave to learn more, more shit. And that kept me from doing dumb shit. Right. So I just uh-huh. kept I just kept on, kept on and you know, until it my beats got to the ears of Crazy Bone and other motherfuckers. Oh, that's what's up. So during that time, you getting more tight with the group. Yeah. And you become their DJ. Yeah. At this point to they the have minute. they have no idea that you could spit lyrics. Nah, you know what? They they uh already knew that. Well I know for so Crazy and uh, Wish did. Right. Because I started off making his beats mm-hmm. on uh, the Fix Tape 2 and all that other shit. Life is a lesson to learn. And um, then I just let him hear some of my shit and shit like that. Right, right, so, right. So, yeah, nah. But the rest of them, I mean, once they seen it, I think once they seen my show, it wasn't even, it wasn't even the fact that, like, me rapping, because everybody do that. Once they see how I put on the show, they were like, okay. That's important I when you're performing. Yeah. But see, again, these are different uh, sittings, different tours, different shows. And again, that goes back to like, man, I'm here. I'm there. I mean, stamps I'm on everywhere. my passport. Yeah, that pretty <laughs> much, yeah. You got stamps on your passport. You yeah. meeting all these different people, you know, you it's just an experience that, you know, some people ain't going to never get. Facts. That's real shit. You eating all, all these foreign foods, you trying, you told me some shit about, you know, how they eat in Australia and the different, you know, the, the, the type of clothes they wear. You know, some people will only get to that point from the television. That's it. Yeah. And you bring your stories back to people and tell them, and that makes them, I need to get my shit in gear to see how I can get this experience. Yeah, I mean, you know, as far as, like, what they eat and clothes they wear, I mean, it's almost pretty much, like, from here to Europe, it's just a little different. They do all the same shit. So you've been everywhere around the world, or just, let's just say, U.S., or you've been everywhere twice, at least. Uh, more than that, but yeah. Damn. So real quick, let's fast forward all the way up until right now. Right. Today. What a corona stop this bullshit. No, not that, because I think pretty, people pretty much like, ah, oh, whatever. But yeah. as far as, uh, how, what's the turning point to hip-hop? Is it every five years of change, every 10 years, every five months, every week? What do you see your personal opinion on that? I mean, it's, it's been like that for a minute. It's like, 
every three to five years, shit changes. And now it's like almost every year, something changing. But that's just, that's the motherfucking um, evolve in hip hop. It's gonna evolve. Yeah, but everything, like I said, everything changes, but the shit is just like, man, this ain't, what the fuck is this shit, man? Yeah. I mean, to each his own. I mean, look, check this out. When we was little, Yep. Right? Mm-hmm. When you started listening to N.W.A. and mm -hmm. all this other shit. My you know first tape, I remember, it wasn't N.W.A. My first tape I ever bought a rap tape mm -hmm. was the Fat Boys. Even going deeper, right? That was my first rap tape I ever bought. So, you should remember, when you started listening to rap, your parents was like... What the fuck is this shit? This ain't Marvin Gaye. This yeah. ain't this. This ain't that. They were saying the same shit. Their ears ended up, you know, it was just a different time. And, you know, I'm speaking on the producer thing. Now it's like, you know, once your ears is in tune with something, you're going to find a lot of bullshit, but you're going to find some good shit too. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta find what you like. And, you know, it's... it's can't get your ears out of tune with shit. Okay, but see now... And it's so much of it. It is. It's so much of it out there. It's like, you know, I'm not a rapper, but yeah. I grew up in the rap world. Yeah. I, I know my West Coast. I know a little bit about the East, but I know my rap. Mm -hmm. And it's like a nigga didn't lock me in the box from the 80s and the 90s and ain't let me out because I'm still on that tip. Yeah. You know, and I'm not dissing... Or taking away anything from what's going on now, nor should I try to take away. But I'm just to the point to where it's not appealing. How do you get that feel back to when we run you gotta, to the swap meet to get the tape? Because that's how we found out what was bumping. You yeah. on, on the West, we go to the swap meets and that they playing the Sloss and the Avalon, Gardena, all that shit. They playing all the music in the swap meets, get the tape, run back home. Open the J car, read, oh, this is produced by some look at the pictures. That was the passion of getting into the music. But now, where is it? First of all, Swap Me Days over. Yeah, rest in peace to the Swap Me Days. Uh, even Target, FYE, whatever the fuck that shit was. Tower all Records. That, Tower that shit Records. Over with. You know what I'm saying? But because of this, this internet shit, everything is so much at your hands. See, when we was little, we heard the shit on the radio first. Unless it was like one of the homies around the block that was banging Bumping. some shit yeah. first. We heard the shit on the radio. We didn't have the access to everybody in the world. So it's easy for you to lose touch in your ears. This is just me speaking on music shit again. Right. So again, it's, it's shit that's out there. You just got to be like, okay, this is what I fuck with. Well. I mean, think about it like this. For every motherfucking NWA, there was a motherfucking uh, Biz Marquis. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We uh -huh. fucked with Biz Marquis, though. We did. We but, did. you know, I just did. for every motherfucking Snoop Dogg, there was a whoop, there it is. You, you wasn't banging no whoop, there it is, Heavens unless it was no. around bitches. Fuck no. You feel me? And you wasn't banging, it was just at the party. Yeah. For every, you know, for every T.I. nigga, there was a Laffy Taffy. You wasn't banging down the street, banging no Laffy. So, it's it's... It's just so much of abundance now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't even listen. I can bet you you don't listen to fucking regular radio. No, I do So not. you don't know what's a... I don't you, know. Yeah, you don't, you don't know what to look for. It's like, they just, boom, just hand it to you. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, for me, you know, music is always going to be hand in hand with life. So, you know, pushing what you pushing, yeah. I can uh, say that I've seen you evolve. So once again, blessings to your moves you're about to make, the things you're about to do with your production and your music. Thank you for coming to hang out with us. Appreciate you hanging out on the line. Once again, this is Position. I'm Junior. Thanks to The Wire, Digital Soapbox Network, every program on there, JJ Fonby, Compton, Long Beach, Watts, West Coast, East Coast. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. Peace. Shout out, Bone. Position of power. We out, bitch. All right, DJ Position. I appreciate you pulling up and uh, hollering at us, giving us the interview. Appreciate y'all. So let the people know uh, where they can find you at. Yeah, you can find me at Position, P-O-Z-I-T-I-O-N, on everything, Twitter, 
Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, all that. You can find me anywhere. Position. One more time. P-O-Z. I-T-I-O-N. So, Junior, you got something you want to say? As a matter of fact, I do. We ain't got that kind of time. <laughs> Bull, bullshit. Hear me out. Hear me out real quick. Yes, we have something coming out new on Digital Soapbox Network. OG Gangster Chronicles will be up in the next few days. So check them out. We are on there along with Smoke A Lot Radio and a, a host of other little things they got coming on. And I just want to thank you guys for tuning in with us and hanging out with me and this dude here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my partner, my uh, co-defendant right here. So uh, you want to go and take us home, big homie? So yeah, we're going to, uh, it's called OGGangsterChronicle.com the new webpage coming out. So y'all can uh, check that out and uh, check us out on On The Line, Digital Soul Box Network, podcast show with J.J. Farmer Jr. Uh, shout out to The Wire Entertainment. Shout out to The Wire Lounge. Uh, appreciate everything, man. And uh, DJ Primetime and all you squares out there. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. And one thing, subscribe to the network. Y'all have a good one. Thank you. Every day I wait to lay my life on the line Juggling these streets, speak the streets are on the line Hustle to increase, put it all on the line How this style set me free to walk in yards on the line Every day I wait for like my life on the line Jungle in these streets, speak the streets are on the line Hustle to increase, put it all on the line How this style set me free to walk in yards on the line Every day